Hey, welcome to JG3 Reviews. My name is James, and I do fountain pens, ink, and paper reviews. And today, I had to interrupt everything I'm doing. I actually am working on a big project for work, and last week I recorded the next month's worth of raw footage for pen reviews and put everything away, except this pen. This pen arrived in the mail on Saturday and blew all my plans out of the water for not sitting down and doing a review today. I wanted to get this one in before I have to pack up the camera and everything and share with you my first impressions of the Pen BBS 489 Touchdown. This is, for a lot of Pen BBS fans, an exciting thing. Anytime they bring out a new pen, that's exciting. Anytime they bring a new pen with a new filling system, or like this one, a revision of a vintage filling system, it gets kind of exciting for all the pen geeks, right? And uh, yeah, being one, I'm excited. And then, and then, and then, when they offer that pen in my favorite blue galaxy resin we got a pen to review so let's flip that camera and get at it all right now here's that red and black box with the little magnet lid that always means something awesome is about to enter your fountain pen collection or at least that's usually what it means to me open up that lid and first we come to instructions and even if you're the kind of person that usually throws these things out you might want to look them over it's very simple especially if you read Chinese but if you don't there is English on the reverse side covering most of the globe in one fell swoop but this is a really simple system it just always pays to look over it and familiarize yourself with what's going on here it doesn't threaten your manhood by the way to read instructions. What threatens your manhood is when you find out you should have, and now you're too proud to do it. But we won't, we won't, we won't, we won't get into that. Okay. Anyway, we have here the instructions on how to use the pen and fill the pen and all that good stuff. It's really very simple, and it is a system that's been around for quite a while. First, with a company called Chilton that had a similar system in the late 20s, I believe it was, early 30s, and then later in the mid-century with Schaefer and their touchdown pen. And here are a couple of vintage Schaefer ads so that you can look at how they promoted the system and explain the system. It's all very cool. And uh, that's, I think, part of the appeal of this pen is the fact that it has ties to a vintage filling system, but with modern manufacturing and that really beautiful pen BBS resin and just an, a new design, something new uh, in the fountain pen world. That always is exciting, right? And let's take a closer look now at that pen. First is the familiar Pen BBS blade clip, looking all nice and shiny there. And as always, good and sturdy. I think that's a good clip and a good clip design works well. But really, aren't we here with this particular pen in large part for the resin? I love that galaxy blue resin. I don't have a lot of pens with it, but I've got a few. There's a couple there in the background. My first pen BBS was that 308 back there with this galaxy blue resin, and what a place to start just at the at the top with that blue resin. It is absolutely my favorite of all that they offer. Just gorgeous with chatoyancy and some deep blues and silvery blues, ice blues, just fantastic. It's something you have to be careful about because it will distract you from important work as you just stare at that crazy pen. I like it. Anyway, we have it in this one a chrome trimmed pen. So you have, of course, the clip. Then you have the band at the base of the cap, which says 489 Shanghai, China, and Pin BBS. And then coming down to that silver trim ring just before the knob that you turn in order to fill the pen. We'll look at that in just a second. First, let's count the turns. We have one and a half. Some folks are going to be real happy about one and a half turns on that pen. We have a matching resin section, and you know that I like that. That just makes for a really attractive pen. Again, that middle trim ring and threads are in that chromed metal. Just look, even the grip section is just beautiful in the material that it's made of. You have a stainless steel number six nib. This one is fine. I was going for a medium, but those were out when I went to order mine. So the good thing is you can swap that for a medium. You can swap that for a calligraphy nib, which Pen BBS is always expanding their catalog of nib units with calligraphy nibs. You can even put a gold nib in there if you wanted to. They do have 
all of those options. I'm going to get distracted again. That is just striking. Look at that. Really beautiful. So the way that this works is that you first unscrew the cap and then you will pull back on that. And what that does is it actually compresses the sack that's inside a metal housing inside the pin. I'll show you that in just a second. But it compresses that sack, pushing the air out. And then you would put it in the bottle and just very easy, you just gently press this and listen. If you heard that air, uh, it creates the vacuum at the last second, kind of like with a more traditional vac-filled pin. And you wait for a few seconds as the vacuum pulls ink up in the pen. They say wait about three to five seconds. So I would count count to five and then you should have a pretty good fill on that pen. And we'll test that here in just a minute. Then you would simply screw that back on. Now the section does unscrew. There is, you will notice, a silicon o-ring there. And then you have this metal housing and the silicon sac is inside this housing. And what it does is it compresses that sack inside and then releases and allows the vacuum to pull the ink up through the opening here in the feed. Very simple really, just a simple system, but one that's not commonly found on fountain pens today, so it's kind of neat to see that revived. Then putting the cap back on, I didn't show you the finial. It is just a simple polished end of the Galaxy material, just a solid cap piece. Just very, very simple and elegant cap and just really looks great in that blue resin. Am I distracted again? I am. How about we do a quick size comparison and then fill this up with ink and then see how it writes. All right, so what ink am I going to put into this pen? Well, I have decided on Birmingham Pen Company's Ultramarine. This is a really nice sheening ink and I've got this great big honking bottle just begging for a worthy pen and I think this one's it. So let's see is this as easy as it's supposed to be. Again you twist open the knob, you pull back to expel the air and then putting it in the ink bottle, press down and listen. One, two, three, four, five. And then clean up your pen. All right, let's do a quick size comparison first. Here is the Pen BBS 489. Next to that is the Pen BBS 308. And the Moonman Majan M800. And the Jinhao 100. Look at all of those. All in galaxy blue, just I mean, you can't look bad in that color. And then there is, of course, a Lamy All-Star and a Twisby Eco for good measure. And there we have the pins all posted. And there are the pins all uncapped and unposted. And I will say, I really don't think this pin is supposed to post. I wanted to give you the length of the pin just in case I'm wrong about that, but mine does not post well. And so I'm going to treat it as an unpostable pin. All right, as we get ready to do the writing test, let me say this pen has a nice length to it and is very comfortable. The curve of the grip section, it just feels good. Those threads and step down are not an issue to me at least. This is again a fine nib. And it is a number six, and it's steel, and they do sell individual nib units. I mentioned that earlier, I think, so that you can have some variety in your pen. And you can buy different nibs instead of having to buy a different pen every time, too. And the ink is ultramarine. And that is by Birmingham Pen Company. Really great pen and ink company out of Pittsburgh. Love their stuff. And this one, as you can see, has a really nice color variation. And as it dries, it will also pick up some red sheen in that ink. Really, really nice. Check that for wetness. Wow, that looked like it was writing pretty dry. And pen BBS pens do right to the dry side, but this ink, which is 
quite a saturated ink, is not that dry in this pen. And as you can see, there is no real line variation. It's just a standard fine nib, not meant to have line variation, really. This is writing nice and smooth. I do catch, I caught it up here. And right here, I don't know if I'm turning or it just has a sweet spot. I'm getting a little bit of something. I don't think it's a flow issue. Ink flow doesn't seem to be the issue. It may just be that it has a bit of a sweet spot on this one. And that's something that I can fix very easily with a little bit of nib tuning. I've done nothing to this nib. This is the first fill. All right, so... Basically, I'm just finding that over again. Let's do let's do the quick test and see how it fares, and uh, we'll go from there. All right. So yeah, this one is just a little bit of skipping. It's it's writing nice and smoothly. It may just be it just probably needs a little bit of tuning and you know you, I can do the nib adjustment where you just do uh, just a little bit more pressure than you normally do in writing six straight strokes check it maybe do it once or twice uh, don't press it too far these are stiff nibs you don't want to spring the nib but I would bet I can get that out within just a few minutes of nib tuning so that doesn't concern me at all I have way too many great pen BBS nibs to uh, think that that's an issue with all their pens this would just be it just needs a little bit of tuning they do sometimes write on the dry side and this one doesn't look like it writes to the dry side however this is a really saturated ink and that may be part of the issue as well I'm not going to ding them much on that I don't think it's a problem with the pen overall I think it's just I'm going to tune this one a little bit so what are my recommendations on this pen I would check it out if you're interested in the filling mechanism. Otherwise, if you don't care about it being a touchdown and that doesn't interest you, then you know, you've know you got options. Go with the Pen BBS pen if you want one at all. With the material you like and the style you like, they have all kinds of variation on the theme of a fountain pen in all different kinds of resin. You will find one, I guarantee it that you like. Uh, but as far as this one goes, I do like this. An almost stodgy conservative style, just a very formal looking pen, but in a very exciting resin that kind of lessens the formality of it, doesn't it? And it takes a what could be a boring design and makes it a very interesting pen. And I think most of the resins I've seen people ordering right away, that would be the case. So really, really neat. I love the mechanism works well. It operates smoothly as it should. Of course, durability will remain to be seen. There's no way to know that without time. But it's very well made. It is at a very good price for what you get. They're shipping faster than they were for a long time after the pandemic and so that's improving as well and uh, yeah if you want to check it out i would check it out but i would hurry if there is a particular resin that you want just because they can get scarce from time to time when a new popular pen like this comes out you might have to wait a while and just check back every now and then see when they're in stock all right i hope you have a great week a wonderful time blessing other people and the things you write with your pens god bless you I'll see you in the next review.